There are some tire tracks in the dirt. That's the car Prince James's men arrived in. Mallory and McDougal could have parked the car here, but I don't know why they'd bother to hide it. It's more likely that the killers stashed it here. Maybe they grabbed Mallory and McDougal somewhere else and brought them here to be... executed. Wow, pretty damn grim. Christ! Did you do that on purpose? Not at all. So what the hell's up with this? I'm guessing these are Prince James' men. Am I right? Yeah, for once. Oh, so how'd they end up grinning with their larynxes? Could be vampires. Yeah? Not the kind What's-His-Face wrote about. That would be Stoker, Bram, Stoker. Thank you. Not the kind Stoker wrote about. Take a look at these guys. It's Prince James's two men, all right. I don't see any blood. Yeah. Weird, huh? Throats opened up like a Christmas package and not a drop of the red stuff anywhere. They're both completely white. That's because they've been drained like a couple of cans of tuna. Curious. I know what you're thinking. But if it was vampires, why the long gash? It'd be like trying to drink from the lip of a mixing bowl. Maybe they got really big mouths. Like you. Sure. A vampire cult founded by Mick Jagger. Oh, this all makes perfect sense to me now. Yeah. There's no blood on the clothes. About who might have done it. Yeah, and... They did run a flagpole up the Abbey's butt. Maybe he did it. He mentioned something on the tour about not having a car. It could be a ruse. Could be. But he doesn't look strong enough to handle these two. They're not exactly lightweights. He did seem intimidated at the church. He could have called someone in, though. That quickly? I suppose it's possible. Take a look around, see if you spot any clues. About who might have done it. Yeah, and? It had to be the kidnappers, don't you think? If so, they're a hell of a lot nastier than we thought. And weirder. This is no ordinary killing. Look at them. Notice anything suspicious when the group saw the dead bodies? Hmm. Madeline sure as hell didn't want to leave. She looked like she's just itching to check things out. Fortunately, that Howard lady was throwing a hissy fit. And Maddie didn't have much of a choice. Not sure why she'd be so interested in a couple of dead guys. Oh? And why are you so interested? I'm helping you! Get over here! 
What is it? Is that what I think it is? I think it's what you think it is. Looks like it. <sighs> Considering how friable the ground looks, I'd say that was a lot of blood soaked up, wouldn't you? Yep. Maybe even all of it. Which explains why there's no blood near the bodies. Yeah, but jeez, I thought the voodoo murders were strange. What do you make of this? Neat little piles? You know, like Felix Unger meets Freddy Krueger? They obviously drained the blood here on purpose. The question is, why? At least he rules out vampires. Not necessarily. Maybe they're just picky eaters. What's it smell like? Not much. Earthy. Dead. Anyway, sure doesn't smell like wine. There are two slightly curved indentations here. Footprints? I don't think so. Wrong shape. So what are they? must have made them kneel and then but there are no other prints there should be some sign of a struggle or at least the footprints of the assailants victims just wouldn't kneel down and be cooperative huh night what about the assailants Must be my imagination. Man, you're even weirder than you were back in New Orleans. You know that? Yeah. I do know that. I think that's about it. Guess I'll head out. Sounds good to me. I'm surprised the cops haven't shown up yet. Oh, they will. And I'm sure they will appreciate your thoughtful protection of the murder scene. Hey, uh, Madeline. And what are you doing here, Monsieur Knight? Why don't you call me Gabriel? This Monsieur stuff is so... French. All right. What are you doing here, Gabriel? I came to keep Moe's company. He's a bit squeamish, you know. Never could stand the sight of blood. Shut up, you hoser. Hm. I am beginning to think there is more to both of you than meets the eye. Oh, there's more, all right. In my... Not you, animal. Head. So what brings you here, Madeline? I came to wait for the police. They are French police, after all. So you and you, Monsieur Mosley, may feel you have done your duty. Au revoir. A bientôt. Tout ou. Your wish is my command. Uh, by the way, Gabriel, can you tell me the two dead men's names? Me? I saw you and your little girlfriend talking to them last night in the parking lot. Oh, huh. See, Gracie, uh, my assistant, caught a ride with them from Paris, but she didn't know them. Hm. That sounds very odd to me, but uh, perhaps the police will be more understanding. Oh, come on. There's no need to waste their time. Maybe you and I can go over it more thoroughly later. Very well. I look forward to it. See you, Madeline. Toodaloo. Hey, could you... 
Uh, give me a ride, will you? Get on. Just make sure those hush puppies don't mar the chrome. You used to be a lot funnier. You know that? And you could touch your toes once. Shit happens. <laughs>